Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain rectangular and circular patterns in SolidWorks Sketcher. How to generate a rectangular pattern, how to use circular pattern, and how to apply constraints. How to make that sketch fully constrained for both circular and rectangular pattern. Go to File, New, Select Plane, Go to Sketch, See here, there are two options in Sketcher, Linear Sketch Pattern, Circular Sketch Pattern. Now I will show you how to use these options and how to make a sketch fully constrained. Linear sketch pattern means it generate number of objects into rows and columns. Whereas circular sketch pattern means in a circular wise around 360 degrees it generates number of instances in a circular way. See for example I take a circle then I constrain this circle I make this sketch the circle fully constrained. Now, this fully constrained uh, profile a uh, circle requires into. I need to create this into number of rows and columns. Then, so suppose some 5 rows and 6 columns like that. Then go to linear sketch pattern. Then, here entities to pattern. Here you just select circle. Then, distance between circle. You just increase the gap. I enter 0 0.5 or 2 inch number of circles I want in row wise 3, 4, 5, distance between each circle I kept 1.5 inch then column wise just increase here instances 3 4 I want 4 then the gap between like between each row I want around 0 0.5 see 1.25 then so we got a circles into number of rows and columns like 4 rows and 6 columns 5 columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns then go for ok select this then you can you can see here number 4 and 5 see 5 columns if you want increase you just double click on this number say I want some 6 columns Then row wise, if you double click on that 4, 
see I want 5 then still it is under constraint sketch you can move this see if you hold this then the entire profiles rows and columns will be moved I go back then to make this sketch fully constrained to make this sketch fully constrained we can change by double click on like this we can change number of rows and columns then this is under constraint sketch if you hold this if you hold point then if you move then all profiles will change its position so how to fix how to make this fully constrained I go back to make these rows and columns fully constrained just give horizontal and vertical distance to this circle second circle in first row horizontal dimension So horizontal and vertical dimension given to the uh, second circle then you can see this row is fully constrained in the same way give horizontal and vertical dimension to this circle column wise second circle I select small dimension vertical dimension horizontal dimension then the entire pattern will become fully constrained sketch then circular sketch pattern see to use circular sketch pattern say suppose I create one circle with some diam this is a pitch circle
then I create one circle at its quadrant and I give dimension to this circle then that is fully constrained then I want this type of circle around 10 to 12 on this pitch then use circular sketch pattern see here here we need to select point see in this select point entities to pattern select this block select this circle and give number of instances I have given 10 then go for ok now all profiles all elements are under constraint to make this fully constrained you just hold any center of the circle then you can see it is coming out of that pitch because for this circle you can see center here and for pitch we have fixed center here to make these circles fully constrained simple thing go to relation add relation select this point and center coincide then the objects which are generated by circular pattern are fully constrained then here you can see number total number to reduce or increase you just double click and change so like this you have to use this linear sketch pattern and circular sketch pattern in solidworks sketch a workbench thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe and share imperial cat system